So this is our nice, big, new, fancy house that we're not living in yet, even though it's been sitting here for two weeks because the power company won't come out and switch my meter box and the electrician wouldn't hook this to my existing meter box, which gets me into a long story, which I'm not gonna talk about because I might use language that's not appropriate for children if I did. And this over here, that's where we're actually living, still in the RV. <clears throat> we parked it in the front yard so I can run wires and hoses underneath it so I could plug it in next to where it used to be. And we're doing all this not living in the new house because of the power company, which I'm not going to talk about as I've previously explained. And on top of that, I just did my taxes, which meant I spent a week locked inside doing paperwork and I am not I am not the right guy to be doing paperwork because I don't know what I've got ADHD ADD D, dyslexia uh, I don't even know but whatever I got it means that when I try to do paperwork I have to spread it out in piles all over the place and when I have to do taxes that's a lot of piles. In fact, I'll give you an example. I'm going to cut the heater off here so you can hear me. I'm pretty sure it's making a lot of noise. So give me just a second while I make it stop running so that we can speak more fluid. Oh, look at that. It heard me talking about it. Okay, so here's a pile. And this is a pile. It's like the throwaway pile. And then here's some piles. And there's piles and piles and piles and piles. But, and on top of that, also... And there's Charlie, bless his heart. He keeps me sane when I might otherwise lose it. Oh, look, more piles here and over in there. But this pile made me happy. So I'm going to go through this, but I'm going to try to do it in such a way that I'm not exposing someone else's address. So having said that, here is a letter from Mr. Joseph King. And he sent me this nice letter in the mail, which says, Richard, I've seen your videos on having your stickers. If you have any left, I would like to get one. I have enclosed a self-addressed stamped envelope to cover the mailing. I have also included a sticker from my car club for you to add to your door your fellow youtuber joe krug krug joe thank you so much that's awesome look at this cool sticker it's from uh, prison city cruisers which that you gotta admit that is a bear that's in joliet illinois now joe don't know this but my first wife was from joliet illinois and we're not going to talk about her because she's Josh's mama. So we're going to just forget about that. And he, and he sent me this sticker too. A card. It's his card with flames shooting out the back. And that's nice. And he sent me this self-addressed stamped envelope, which I'm not going to show you because I don't want to show his address. But I just want to say thank you to him for that. I've got some other people that have sent me letters that I haven't yet addressed, which have to do with the stickers because as i said before i've been doing taxes and where is my mailbox in this computer see i am so highly organized and i can just i can just whip this thing open and go right to the mail so here's nc automan telling me to send him a sticker and here's frederick johansson now frederick johansson is in uh he's in uh He's in, he's in Sweden. And here's a picture of him with my sticker and snow in the background in Sweden, which is, you got to admit, that's pretty dang cool. And I got one from Sean. He's asking for a sticky thing. And uh, I got one from Thomas O'Dell. And he's asking for a sticky thing. And then I got some, some messages from Chevy Tom. He's talking to me about car shows locally. And, and uh, Kendall Pig, I talked about him the other day. I done sent his sticker out. Um, and Mason Fox, he's uh, asking me about something. But I mean, I just want to say that 
some of y'all stickers ain't made it to the mail yet but it could happen today because where i've already got all these piles and it's cold ish outside and i don't have any electricity in the house so i can go over there and put my feet up and play the banjo or anything uh, and I'm kind of, you know, when, when you're waiting for something like electricity, it kind of puts you in a holding mode. Like, there's things I'd like to do, but, you know, but I, I got this one thing that needs to be done, and so that's kind of holding me up. But anyway, thank you very much, Joe. I'll get your sticker in the mail today. In fact, I'm going to put two or three in there because you was nice enough to send me that. And uh, the rest of you, I'm going to get to you too. Maybe today. Could be today. It might be today. Anyway, thank you very much to all of you. I love all of y'all, and y'all don't have to send me a self self addressed self addressed stamped envelope sticker sticker envelope, or your, you don't have to send me anything because I'm doing this for y'all because y'all have done so much for me over the years. Me and Rusty was just talking about the other day about how good friends we are, and me and Luke Palioka, and me and. Uh, George, uh, uh, Fix It Man, and, and it's just so many. I can't even name all the friends I got from YouTube, but I got a lot of real good friends from YouTube. So I just appreciate all of you. So, yeah, these stickers, they're a gift from me. I'll keep giving them out till I run out. I ain't run out yet. So thank you very much. I will put that little link thing in here that gives this email box, which is not my normal email box, because my normal email box gets stuff in it that I don't want to even look at, but this email box, I try to, it's it's sacrilegious, I keep it that way, so that it, it, it'll only get sacred and religious responses to these videos, that's, that's what sacrilegious means, ain't it, I think so, anyway, alright, hope y'all have a nice day, me and Charlie are doing okay, you want to say hi, Charlie, Charlie? Charlie, you want to say hi? I don't think, I don't think, you know what he did while ago, I'll tell you this because you're here. You, you notice this vest I have, I'm wearing, it has a little pocket right here. Now a while ago, he was laying up on this pillow and he stuck his head completely inside of this little vest pocket. And he was sitting here with his head, his whole head in my vest pocket. There's something inside me that just warms up because of this little fella and and I'll say it again, and I've had instances where I've thought this over and over again. I think God put dogs on the earth to let us know his nature. Because sometimes the love I feel inside of me for these dogs we got is just, it just makes my chest swell. And I think, well, if I'd like to think about how a great God would love me, I'd want him to love me as much as I love these dogs. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. That's my two cents worth. Hope you all are having a nice day. And as always, if you're not, get, get over it. See you now. Bye. So I was just thinking that since I'm going out here anyway, I will uh, I'll take Joe's sticker and put it on my door. I've started a sticker door here. Uh, Eric Polson's sticker ain't stuck. It doesn't stick. Or it, it's not sticking very well. I might ought to get some tape and put some tape on that. But let me see if I can get joe's sticker joe's car club sticker prison city cruisers you know what i could do is stick this over on the edge of eric's and it would kind of hold his I'll put it right next to his little thumbs up sticker that way it kind of helps to stick one side of eric's down because it's not sticking too good so if i get some more stickers i'll stick them on these other sides here oh oh the jordan now so i'm gonna go in here and get my stickers they're way up there you know, band out there, where are they? On top of a banjo case with some traction bars, which are probably doing damage to them, even as we speak, laying right on top of them. And my, my garage didn't organize too very well right at the moment, but it's, it's mostly because I've gotten all sidetracked and located with this new house. And I was trying to clean things up and I, I, I got these traction bars up here. They're gonna go. They're gonna go on the. On the. They're gonna go on the Rambler at some point. That's the plan for them. Ah, let's see if we can put them over there without falling off the ladder. Ooh, goodness, it's a stretch. I'll put this one over here. That's pretty heavy. Pretty heavy metal right there. Yes, yeah, I got a sheet of them here. 
I got enough to give. Oh, don't, don't fall. No, no, no. Oh, no. Our peak is falling. Call 911. Oh, oh. <laughs> get my chromium plated equipment. I haven't even had time to mess with yet. Okay. Let's see. How many more of these I got? I got a few. I got enough. I got enough to send. I got enough to send one to every, every one of Mr. Heavy Chevy's wife's admirers. Well, probably not. She's probably got more admirers than, than Carter's got little liver pills, but uh, I got a lot of them anyway. Okay. Miss Heavy Chevy, if you heard that, that was a compliment. I'm going back in now. To my humble, look at that. Wee! Back into my humble abode, which is not my new house. It's my humble abode. I'm going to my humble abode. That's the RV over here. That's where I'm going. Uh, I'm gonna need to walk down to the lake in a little bit. I hadn't cranked the boat in a few days, in a few weeks, a few days. Because I've been working on taxes so much, so I go see if the battery's still charged up. But I'll get these in the mail first. First off, I'll get these in the mail. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay.